Welcome to D23 Day here in Disneyland. We are here to enjoy the day. This morning was a little bit hectic. There were a lot of people lined up for specialty merchandise, specialty D23 commemorative ears, as well as some medallions that are on sale. So folks have been lining up, but Mike is actually here with me today. Today is not a solo trip. I have better lighting. <laughs> <laughs> so both of us got these cute little uh, D23 at Disneyland ears. They so were they passing came with them out. like this teal, and then I have just the black ones. I like the teal ones. So, oh. yeah, we're going to try to, to check out what D23 at Disneyland Day is going to be like. It's going to be pretty hectic, so we'll find out. Mostly there's some specialty characters. We're able to pull a virtual queue for the Honda Mansion holiday. Our boarding group has been called. We have until 9 o'clock. Okie doke. Off we go to the Haunted Mansion holiday. Uh, I guess everybody's pretty much congregating at the, big, the front of the park right now getting their merchandise and special medallion. So rumor has it the special medallion machine is currently broken, so oops. Yes, number, the person that was number three in line mentioned that uh, mentioned that it was gonna take supposedly a couple hours to fix. Oh, okay. So. Well, luckily Meg and I are not in dire need of a, of a specialty <laughs> medallion, so we're back here uh, by the Rivers of America, and uh, it's actually pretty chilly here. I, I think, like I said, everybody's like, we were stuck in the front of the park. Pirates is so not, that's like, not probably like a 10 minute, five minute. Pirates is a five minute away. Uh, Haunted Mansion holiday, you can see it from afar. That is currently back, one of our favorites. One of the neat things about Haunted Mansion holidays is that every single year they have like a specialty gingerbread centerpiece in the ghost party scene. So we're ready to check that out and figure out and see what the new gingerbread looks like this year. And yeah, like I said, uh, this whole area is still walled off. Um, they're still working on the queue as well as the retail store that is coming hopefully later this year or early next year. Uh, maybe we'll find out a little bit more <laughs> during D23 as far as how the parks are going to be expanding and refurbing and renewing. So here we go. Just got done with Honda Mansion Holiday. That is one of my favorite overlays, ride overlays ever. And so 
Like I mentioned, the gingerbread house this year is a little bit different. Um, it's kind of like a little robot ginger that rotates its head. <laughs> that was that was super cute. Um, yeah, so boarding group two, that was, we didn't have any weight whatsoever. It was just pretty much a walk on. Now actually looks like there is going, it's a little bit of a cube buildup already. So yeah, like people are still starting to like wind in and out of the, the little queue area. So anyways, Getting here early, getting it done and over with, still is a recommended. Mike ended up getting a coffee at the Menchua bar, so I, I think we're just sitting here and chilling. And I, I was telling Mike that today is actually, it's like a merch day, so a lot of people are over there getting their stuff. But let's do a little quick time check for the wait times today. Alice in Wonderland, 15 minutes. All your classic dark rides seem to be pretty good. Buzz Lightyear Everybody's is only waiting in line. Everybody, for like merch yeah, right now. yeah. Like the entire front of the park is packed. Very, very busy. Dumbo is only ten minutes. A lot of things are closed today for some reason. Yeah, Haunted Mansion is only virtual queue. Indiana Jones Adventure is only thirty minutes. We, we may, we may have working. to. Let's yes, do let that us. Let that. I think that's what we're gonna have to do next. Uh, Matterhorn is only 15 minutes. Yeah, like wait time, if you're looking at the wait times, it's not that bad at all. Like I, Mike has mentioned that everybody's pretty much waiting for the merch. Um, let's see, what else is a big, the big ride? Star Rise of Resistance is only 55 minutes. So not too bad at all. So I think we're gonna get on and grab our coffee and then Go in riding in a Jones. That one, the wait time usually hovers around, you know, 50 to 60 minutes, and that ride goes down a lot. So ride it while you can. That's a piece of a pro tip if you want to ride that ride. And just in case you didn't know, Pete Pugora's house is right here by Indiana Jones Adventure. Looks like he's still not at home today. So, whoa, whoa. hi, Pete. We'll see you when you get back. Wow, look at that. We weren't kidding. That is a 15 minute wait for Indiana Jones Adventure, which is just amazing. All right, here we go. Glad folks are more interested in merch right now for sure. Just finished Indiana Jones Adventure. Wow, we timed it just right. Mike grabbed coffee thinking that we would have enough time to drink it before the ride. Not so much. That ride was, when we checked it, it was 30 minutes and then it dropped down to 15. So we had literally to like gulp down hot coffee in the queue. Like, ah, coffee here in Disneyland expensive. So I wasn't going to dump that away. That ride, if you're prone to motion sickness, ooh, I, I forgot just how jostly that whole ride is. That was, uh, there's definitely a lot of like, um, kind of knocking around in the ride vehicle, but fun ride, fun ride. Supposedly that is coming to uh, Animal Kingdom, replacing Dinosaur or something like that. But you know, between the two rides, I think this one is probably a better ride, but would I prefer to have two different rides? Yes, um, so hopefully when they bring it over to Animal Kingdom, that they'll, they'll put a little bit of a different spin on it. Who knows if what, what that's going to be like Remy when they just pretty much copy and paste from France all, all the way to Epcot. So again, it's D23. We'll probably find out more about what the parks are going to be looking like for the next t decade or so. So uh, super excited for that. So right now, I don't know what, what we're, Mike, what are we doing? I have no idea. Jungle Cruise is only 20 minutes. So we're, I, I, guess, I guess, yeah, spontaneous decision. We're doing Jungle Cruise. This queue is not as extensive, I think, in, than the one in Magic Kingdom, but they still have some cute little pictures and uh, things around, Easter eggs for the society of some sort of explorer or whatever, the SDA people. But okay, I guess we're moving. Four hours ago, we need to look for him. We're very concerned. Oh, you and the Packer shirts. Hope you know what you got yourself into. It's a boat with a bear span as your skipper. <laughs> All right, other than that, we're out for you. Wave goodbye to Andrew and Alyssa. Goodbye. It's the last day as well. They don't know it yet. Hello, folks. Welcome aboard your world famous Jungle Cruise. Yeah. My name is Chef Evan, you skipper. The launch over 20 feet high. Not to worry, folks. We're about 50 feet away. You'll jump right over us. Oh, watch out for Ginger, folks, watch out! Ginger snaps! She is one tough girl. <laughs> Alright, folks, get out the camera and phone. We are riding the secret sacred baby pool of the Indian elephant. 
Did you know elephant in general have very good memories? I wish I had a memory for the elephants. As I know, folks, that is an African bull elephant. Known for the big ears and long tusks. Did you know elephants in general have very good memories? I wish I had a memory of an elephant. Well, Jungle Cruise is a little bit longer than the 20-minute post-it wait time, but it's always a lot of fun. That ride, honestly, to me, it really depends on the skipper. Our skipper today was kind of hilarious. Uh, we didn't, we skipped the whole backside of water joke, but I think he did a good job making something else up. But he rolled into it. He did roll into it, yeah. So, well, uh, we're still kind of wandering around. Uh, the park is pretty busy today. Lots of activities, media events as well as just general fans but uh, I think we're gonna try to see if we can catch some characters back in the small world area and then after that we should be able to park hop over onto DCA and check out what's going on over there I mean this is Peter Pan that that is a solid weight right there holy moly I mean this is how I gauge the busyness of the park because if the dark rides are this busy the rest of, oh there's there's Peter Pan. Oh, Peter Speaking Pan. of Peter Pan. Oh, oh, oh. He, is he gonna make it? Is he gonna is he gonna pull it out? <gasps> oh, he's trying, he's trying. Oh no, Peter Pan's not enough magic today. Got gotta get a he's refill. Pulling he's pulling in the wrong direction. direction. Yeah, okay, well he's giving up. <laughs> we haven't seen Pinocchio yet, but there is Ariel from her live action movie. Yeah, we just saw Peter Pan rolling, roaming around, and now there is Ariel. This is why Disneyland is the best. I love the roaming characters. Oh, goodness. Genie's coming out. Genie is coming. <gasps> Geppetto and Pinocchio are here. Ah, yay. OK, OK. Time down and over to DCA. We just finished meeting G Geppetto and Pin Pinocchio, the two characters I have not had a chance to meet in person. So that was amazing. A uh, bunch of characters roaming around back in the small world area. So if you ever want to see characters, that is sort of like the hub, you know, right by that little door in the, in the back area, that's kind of where the characters go in and out. So if you want to catch characters, that's a good spot to be. And uh, we, you know, classic Mike and Jin, uh, when we saw a big old line that was performing for something, obviously we don't, we don't, we, we didn't know what it was. And uh, our philosophy is when there's a line, something must be really, really, you know, cool going on. So that's. We stood in line. I guess there is the magic shot for a D23 day. Uh, I don't know how magical it is. We just got handed a little bit, one of those like little placard things. <laughs> but hopefully there is something magical that are gonna be tossing in. So we are heading over to uh, DCA now. Uh, park hopping is supposed to start around 11. We're, we're about a little bit early, but by the time we walk over there, maybe test out the 15 minute before park hopping theory, potentially. So. That's where we're heading, and that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> and we were able to park hop. Uh, Disneyland is pretty strict with their park copy policy. There is no shadow 50 minute rule ahead of time. You park hopping starts at 11, and that's the way it goes. So, yep, yeah, <laughs> you know, when uh, when the, the clock struck 11, everybody was rejoicing. All the park hoppers can uh, hop on over to DCU now. So, we are here. Um, it's not, I guess it's not as crazy as it was in Disneyland this morning. Still a bit of a crowd, but um, I think there was a cavalcade this morning that with the, the Disney Junior uh, Little Mermaid, but uh, unfortunately, because we made our reservation over in Disneyland, um, we unfortunately missed that. So, but um, we are here and uh, checking out what is, what's over here. Um, I think the first thing we're going to do is probably head on over to Avengers Campus because I know there's a bunch of uh, the Avengers characters that are roaming around over there. So um, definitely story with Deadpool is a new thing, a limited time thing. We don't know when it's going to end, so hopefully we can also catch that. But certainly at 12.15, there is a cavalcade that's special to D23, so we definitely want to do that as well. The ride times are super high right now. Uh, mission breakout is 65 minutes. That is as high as it could get, so I guess people are just kind of like riding rides at the moment because Adventure Campus, there's not a lot of people roaming around over here, but uh, oh, we have Lady Thor. My goodness, hold on. We should definitely get a picture with 
Jane. Wonder, hopefully they haven't closed down the queue yet. Oh my goodness, we have Kamala over here too. That's cool. Oh, yes. definitely want to take a picture, picture with her for sure. Her line is not super long, not like Jane over there. So, but we love her. So definitely want to take a picture with her. Okay, we are at Pim's Kitchen. There is this Wolverine and Deadpool chimichanga. <laughs> It's spicy, right, Mike? A little bit, yeah. I mean, you can see the Wolverine claw mark on there, so let's dig in. This thing is really, really big, so yeah, it's like it's $13.99, but uh, I think it feeds too just fine. It comes with a little slaw and salad. Deadpool and Wolverine, it's, it's all the rage right now here in Disneyland. A little bit later, I think we want to catch Deadpool in his story time. People, people were saying how they were they were never anticipating or expecting Deadpool to ever appear in, D in Disneyland, but he's here <laughs> and we're excited. minutes since I um, since I'm connecting right here again so to catch you guys up we had the chimichanga the uh, Wolverine and Deadpool chimichanga it wasn't bad it's was, it's massive though the thing is huge so it has a little bit of kick to it so if you are not into spicy food um, I would be it's not, it's not super spicy it's definitely it's actually even below standard uh, Disneyland standard spicy level. But after that, we had to really go across the Esplanade, go over to Disneyland to catch the uh, the D23 cavalcade. Um, they were saying there was going to be 23 characters along with some uh, Disney legends. So yeah, we got to see Tony Baxter. We got to see Jody Benson and a few others. I think Paige O'Hara is also there. And they just, it was a really, really short cavalcade. We were like, wow, that is that is super short. But it was still kind of cool to, to say hi and wave to your your heroes and heroines of Disney. We uh, were hopping back to uh, DCA um, before we got to uh, to Disneyland. Uh, we caught a glimpse of Scarlet Witch, who is here today, and uh, um, she's one of my favorite villains or characters in Marvel. So I, I definitely want to see her. But the queue was closed, and you know we we really had to go to Disneyland to check out the parade. So whatever, we'll we'll come back and. And so that's uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, probably head back into uh, Avengers Campus and see what other characters they had. They had some specialty characters today for sure. They had Lady Thor, Jane Foster, and uh, she her queue was also closed, so I, I wasn't able to catch her. But I did catch Ms. Marvel Kamala Khan. She was awesome. We had a whole conversation about her recruitment. Last time I saw her, she was talking to Elena Belova, the the new Black Widow, on sort of starting the Young Avengers program. So she's saying that she's been spamming everybody via email but she hasn't really gotten any responses so I, I don't know how uh, the application process is going but uh, but we'll see uh, she seems to be in good spirits so hopefully she can get the team together all right I'm gonna head on back to uh, DC, or to Avengers campus and see what we can what we can find out <laughs> 
Scarlet Witch is at the Sanctum Sanctorum, so yay! <laughs> I just saw a bunch of people queue up and it's kind of like Mike and I's, uh, our, our specialty is to jump in lines and just sometimes good things happen, so get to meet Star Scarlet Witch. Okay, not gonna lie, but finally meeting Scarlet Witch was amazing. Last time we saw her was probably at last year's Big Booty Bash, but her appearance was on the Villains Trail, so we really didn't get a chance to stop and meet her. Incidentally, we're looking forward to going back to Oogie Boogie Bash this year. Sounds like they're going to be bringing some new villains to DCA, so cannot wait. Anyway, we also got a chance to meet with uh, Star Lord and Grooch together, so that was also a nice little surprise. And I think the plan is to head on over to see if we can catch story time with Deadpool, so here we go. You got good eyes. switch it up today for a little extra wow factor. <laughs> yeah, well, for those of you that didn't get that, wow stands for Warriors of Wakanda. That's the show that you just watched. <laughs> oh, you know how long I've been waiting for this. Woo! I'm about to make a name for myself right here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all ready for story time? Yeah! Well, that's good to hear because I certainly have a story to tell. Gosh, I love to talk. <laughs> Today's story is a beloved bedtime classic mashed up with a very profitable licensing agreement. <laughs> you guessed it, it's Cinderpool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look at these adorable pictures, by the way. Look how cute Dog Pool is, huh? Thank you, I scribbled these myself. All right. Once upon a time. You know what? It just feels wrong when I'm doing it with myself. Why don't we all say it together, shall we? One, two, three. Once upon a time. See, isn't that so much more fun and interactive when we're all in this together? <laughs> For those of you that didn't participate, get your head in the game! <laughs> anyway, upon that time, once, Cinderpool lived in a big mansion with his shiny-headed step-professor, and a bunch of hideous step mutants. The biggest one, Colossus, was always making up stupid rules that no one cared about. Like, please stop labeling other people's food in the fridge with your own initials. And for the love of Feige, stop hanging your underwear from the ceiling fan. <laughs> the other main step mutants, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, oh, such a cool name, I know, right? <laughs> she was always just texting and rolling her eyes. They were both super jealous because Cinderpool had a much, and I mean much, larger fan base. I mean, this isn't story time with Colossus now, is it? <laughs> One day, an expendable non-unit extra came running across the mansion grounds, <laughs> screaming! King Thanos was planning the biggest battle of Phase 3. The last truly relevant phase, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cinderpool desperately wanted to go to the big battle, but Colossus said, No, too dangerous. Cinderpool don't know how to be part of team. And then Colossus ripped up Cinderpool's favorite costume before Negasonic Teenage Warhead, again, such a cool name, made it explode into a million pieces with her mind powers. Oops, sorry. And then she oh, snaps her gum. Thank you so much. So, Gen Z. On they escape every once in a while. Cinderpool was very bummed and felt very vulnerable and exposed. Minus 100,000 aura, as Negasonic would say. He ran out onto the mansion grounds, stumbling for dramatic effect. When suddenly, a big strange sparkly circle appeared. And from out of that big strange sparkly circle walked out Cinderpool's fairy hairy god mutants, Wolverine! Have 
to actually step through the big strange sparkly circle, otherwise the audience isn't going to know that you're here yet. <laughs> I guess we don't really have room for that, I'll just do the circle around you. <laughs> Sorry, here's the Shut shape. Up. Okay. Um, anyway, Fairy Harry got me a Wolverine. I desperately want to go to the big battle, but my mean step mutants vaporized my costume and- Shut up! Growled Wolverine, lovingly. What? <laughs> well, I have to go to the big battle, and my mean step mutants destroyed my costume. Why should I care? Stop whining. Just get another one. Just... Okay. Well, after that very sage and somewhat Australian advice, <laughs> Cinderpool headed off to the wardrobe department to get a freshly laundered costume, and then went to the big battle. Cinderpool missed most of it, though, because he stopped for some chimichangas along the way. You know, priorities. But rest assured, when Cinderpool got there, the Avengers were still winning. Captain America looked so cool and so ruggedly handsome in those pants. And meanwhile, Cinderpool's fairy hairy god meeting Wolverine was... I'm going to Pimps. <laughs> okay. Thanks for, uh, thanks for showing up, Loki Bear. That honestly checks out. Okay. Well, anyway, as the aliens were finally fleeing away in defeat, Cinderpool saw something on the steps of one of the spaceships. It was a single glove. Wow. It was so fancy, big and gold with beautiful jewels. I think there were six of them, not that that's relevant information. <laughs> I wonder who this fits, thought Cinderpool, before trying it on. After some clicking, whizzing, and whirring, it adjusted right to Cinderpool's arm. Then, out of nowhere, Iron Man came flying in out of left field, screaming, Hey, take that off! Don't you dare take this sacrifice from me! I really don't want to be Iron Man until I'm 90! <laughs> in fact, I would rather be doomed than play Iron Man again. Oh! I don't even know if you guys cheer for that. <laughs> I'm just as confused as you are. <laughs> anyway, then other much less relevant Avengers came running in too, saying things like, put that down, that's not a toy, whatever you do, do not snap! So obviously Cinderpool snapped. <laughs> oh yeah, Cinderpool snapped a bunch, both physically and mentally. But then the weirdest thing happened. Half the people kept disappearing, and then reappearing, and then disappearing again. So many people were crying. Tony said I love you like 3,000 times, which was kind of weird. But eventually, everyone did come back. Except for the folks that uh, text and call during the movie theater experience. Yeah, we didn't bring them back. <laughs> yeah, right? But after everyone came back, the Avengers tackled Cinderpool, ripped off his new favorite glove, and then when they went to remake the movie, they CGI Tony's head onto Cinderpool's majestic body. <laughs> and it went on to become the most profitable film of the Feige Cinematic Universe. <laughs> the FCU, as I like to call it. I know, I'm still workshopping that acronym. I feel like there's just one too many letters. <laughs> well, anyway, I really want to for Cinderpool because Cinderpool went on to start his own, even more successful franchise. Yeah! <laughs> It was so successful, well, successful, if you will, in fact, that he was eventually invited to be part of the Avengers Endgame 2, the Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. In theaters at, well, some point. Well, that's the end. Game, if you will. <laughs> okay, that kind of sounded like fake laughter. I practiced that in the shower all morning. You could give a little more genuine laughter than that. Okay, no, don't patronize me now, that's okay. You guys are all adorable. Well, thank you all for coming to another illustrious and very wowy story time with Dick. We love you, Wade! <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, baby cool and baby comic man. <laughs> And we are back in Disneyland. We finally got to catch the uh, Deadpool uh, story time with Deadpool show. Oh my gosh, it was 
I mean, he was telling. It was a. Uh, it was very friend, family friendly. It was definitely not your typical, more R-rated Deadpool stuff. But the stuff that he was saying, it was so like current. You know how they just announced uh, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, to a uh, eh, little bit controversial, but a little bit controversial. But I guess he's slated to play Doctor Doom. So somehow Deadpool is able to fit that into his little set. Now we are back in. Disneyland. We're going to try to see if we can catch Goofy and uh, Max. I think they are hiding somewhere in Toontown. So that's kind of where we're heading. Wow, that was a pretty rough wait for Max and, and Goofy. That was an hour, it was a solid hour and 10 minutes. And you know, when we are first walking in, we're like, where is the end of the line? Oh no, the end of the line was around the house on the other side. No, but they were being really good sports because their set was actually supposed to end around 3 p.m., but they kept them over for like a good 30, 40 minutes just to be able to accommodate some of the guests. I know because people have been waiting around for a little while, so yeah. So we, we were we, we were gonna have to wait for another hour before they come back in, but um, they, they let us through. So got to meet them, they were delightful. Very short, but totally understandable. Hunger is taking over, so we pivoted a little bit. We're actually in downtown Disney right now. We are doing a walk up at Ding Tai Fon, the soup dumpling place that just opened here in Disney, uh, downtown Disney. I did a video uh, for more of a full dinner tour, uh, just myself, uh, a couple of weeks ago, so I'll link that in the description down below. But uh, yeah, Mike's with me today, so maybe if we try something new, I'll pop in the video today. But uh, if you want to get a kind of a feel for uh, the dinner, feel free to check that video out. So yeah, um, that place is super, super challenging when it comes to getting an advanced reservation. But I think actually if you do try to do a walk up, it's it's um, they, they can probably accommodate you depending on the number of guests that are dining. It's just two, it's just the two of us today, Mike and I. And uh, when we walked up, uh, granted, it's around like 4, 430, which is not a typical dinner time. But our wait time is around 45 minutes to an hour, which is t that's totally fine. That is not too bad at all. I think that phone and up working out really really well remember I said it was 45 minutes to one hour wait time actually it ended up being like about 25 30 minutes and then our table was called granted again it was at 4 35 p.m. so it wasn't really during the dinner rush but as soon as we walked out the line was forming out the door but apparently they do have a bar seating area at this time because I had Mike with me we tried a couple more dishes and they had a, a chocolate shalom bao which is so good these little tiny little gems of little soup dumplings but instead of like meat filling or vegetable filling they had chocolate filling it was so absolutely delicious I mean it's warm chocolate inside of a chewy dough bun oh my gosh so good so we're gonna try to head back to Disney California an adventure. There are a couple of the photo pass photos of the magic shop that we are trying to catch. I think they're like special limited time only for D23 at Disneyland. So uh, that's what we're going to try to do. All right. We just had our first D23 day here in Disneyland. That was a lot of fun. I think we didn't get to do a lot of rides today, but mostly just meeting some pretty rare characters. And uh, uh, I guess we just got out of dinner from Din Tai Fung, So it took a little bit of a walk to help the digestion a little bit and uh, checked out some of the photos photo pass magic shots and little little frames so we did the inside out illusion shot which is kind of cool basically you're kind of inside a bottle trying to burst out with all your emotions so yeah i think we're going to call it a night here um, the next couple of days are going to be pretty intense so thank you so much for joining us at a really fun d23 day here in disneyland we will see you in our next video